Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. Ramadan Mubarak to the Muslims. I just wanted to come tonight to shoot a video. Nothing major on my mind. Had a pretty great week. Uh, made a lot of accomplishments. Um, read, read some good things to feed my mind. And you know, every week, we have to find ourselves feeding that, feeding our mind. We feed our bodies two to three times a week, two, excuse me, two to three times a day. And throughout, and throughout the week, but how much of, on a daily basis do we feed our minds? What did you feed your mind good today or this week that will nourish that mind of yours and allow it to grow to a new level. Muhammad Ali said, a man or a person that views life at 50, the same that they did at 20, has wasted 30 years of life. Because life is about reflection, life is about introspection, and life is about growth. And you cannot do those things if you don't feed your mind. So every week or every day of that week, we have to find ourselves constantly feeding the mind information, knowledge that will make us a better human being, give us a different in insight, allow us to see things from a different perspective that we may have been comfortable with before. So that's what I did this week. I just fed my mind business-wise, spiritual-wise, emotional-wise, community-wise, and otherwise, so that my mind is constantly being fueled with good mental food so that that will guide my actions and I can do greater things. Because you never want to waste 30 years of your life and you look back and you haven't grown. You're still doing the same things you did 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, and there's been no growth. And that is a prison that many find themselves living in. But you and I can choose not to live in that prison if we choose to feed our minds. And if you just take time, I look at it like this. This is the mathematics that I do. At a minimum, if we just feed our minds with something, 30 minutes a day, five days a week, that'll give us two and a half hours of mental food. And then if we times that a month, four weeks, then what would that give us? What, 10 hours? of good mental food that's enough to read you know most books that's enough time to in um indulge a audio book so if you do that every month then you can knock out a whole book you do that in a year that's 12 books or audio books that you have allowed to be mental food for you and just imagine where you would be in a year from now if you would make that commitment to start feeding your mind just 30 minutes a day no big major commitment just 30 minutes a day five days a week like a job and you have fed your mind and you can create a list of subjects that interest you that you would like to have more information about and then just go find a corresponding book find a kindle book find an audio book and then just take 30 minutes a day to tackle putting that information in your mind and in three to six nine months a year you would just find yourself being so much wiser having so much more insight having so much more mental power just by feeding your mind. So this was a great week for me. I was able to feed my mind and that's going to give me the foundation to elevate myself even greater next week. 
and then I'm going to do the same thing next week and so on and so on and so on. But I would like for my audience to consider doing the same thing so that we can become great. We're gods. We know that there's a God and one God, but he said he created us in his image and not to his likeness. And in the books of the book of the Quran, Allah says he's the best Noah. In the book of the Bible, uh, I think at Isaiah, he says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my thoughts higher than yours. So God is a Noah. He's the best Noah. God has the best knowledge. So if we are in the image and likeness of God, we got to have some knowledge too. We can't be dumb gods. We can't be dumb in the image and likeness of God. So let's feed our minds. Let's become great. Let's learn how to use that knowledge to become force and power to allow us to overcome obstacles in our path. And we will see ourselves living a great life. We can do it. We're great. We just got to unleash our greatness and show who we are. So I didn't mean to go this long, but the spirit just hit me. So I'm signing off. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Mustafa Speaks, My Walk with Farrakhan. And I pray that this is a man that through this channel that you will be inspired to take another look at. If you haven't looked at him with the right eyes, take another look at the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And he's a man that has knowledge that you can feed on and you should feed on. That will make you a better human being as he has done for me and so many others in America, out of America, worldwide. So this is Brother Mustafa Abdul Muhammad signing off, leaving you as I came in peace. Assalamu alaikum. Hotel, Shalom, Alafia, what's up? And all righteous words of peace. Peace.